because my wall my my daughter and I we share a wall your girl is purging finally her makeup no like a real deal like a real deal purge like 80% of it is being given away and I'm keeping 10% of it and then the other 10% is trash it, the numbers could be wrong I'm not sure but I'm giving away a lot throwing away a lot and if you're new here I am a professional makeup artist I do not currently do makeup I don't practice I don't I that ship has sailed um my back my back hurts I've collected a lot of makeup over the years gratis was plentiful plentiful okay I'm just overwhelmed with it all and I don't use it a lot so it has to go and then I also want to give more beauty content but I can't do that if my space is not right if my space it's not giving neither can I so your girl went to, to Walmart and I went grocery shopping okay that was number one number two I picked up two um, containers so this is the one I got um, it is the four-piece bath set as you can see it has like it's like a big box and this can pull out to be a drawer and then it has two containers or three containers inside of it so I bought two of those the space that I'm working with to store my makeup is not large at all I don't want it to be large I feel like even with this purge I still have too much like for the average person but I'm into like color texture I'm into doing my makeup so it's normal to have more than the normal person right more than the average person it becomes excessive when you hoard it for years that is not no we're not doing that it's a tough task but somebody's got to do it you know somebody's got to do it <laughs> Hey you guys, good morning. Today is, what is today? Tuesday, um, January 3rd. Today's Tuesday, January 3rd. And the kids just left for school. I look like yesterday, but I'm about to 
get on my bike, do a quick little ride, take a shower, and I have some paperwork I need to get together for a closing that I have coming up. And then um, I need to work on emails for the vault label. That's what I'm gonna work on today. Um, oh, you know what I'll do? After my workout, I'll come back on and we can do some, after my shower, we can do some like morning skincare routine since in the last vlog, I showed you guys my nighttime. We can do daytime skincare routine. We'll add that in there because y'all know I love us. I love some skincare. So um, let's go ahead and get to working out. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so I am out of the shower and I washed my face in the shower. I'm gonna show you what I use. One is by Dr. Dennis Gross. It's the Alpha Beta Daily Cleansing Gel. This stuff is thick. You really only need a pea size. Lather it up in your hands and it gives the best cleanse. If you use too much, you'll have a white cast over your face. So this honestly has lasted me about a year. I think I've had it for like nine months or so. And then my Old Faithful Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel. This is my favorite face wash. It's gentle. It does not leave my skin feeling dry. Um, it is the only face wash that I have that does not leave my skin feeling dry. We're going to tone. The toner that I use is Secret Key Starting Treatment Essence. Um, this is a dupe for SK2. The SK2, um, what is that called? SK2 Essence, which is like, a I think it's like $100 in Sephora. Um, this is a dupe that the skincare girlies, the dermatologist told me, not told me, but I learned via social media that this is a dupe for that essence. This is, this is good. This is really good. The next thing I use is the Velvet Skin Drink by Corez. This has significantly decreased or smoothed out the texture in my skin and... I love it. I'm almost to the end, so I will be repurchasing it. I use it in the daytime because because of the texture that it kind of like gives me velvet skin. And my texture is like around here. And it's not like large pores or anything. It's like braille. I don't know, like scaly, not scaly, but it's raised a little bit. So I use this to kind of like smooth out my skin. And it's in serum form, so it also hydrates the skin. Oh my gosh, so good. I first heard about this from Travia of Irregular Wear. She had mentioned this in one of her like Instagram stories and I was like, oh yeah, I need that. So thank you, Tra thank you Travia. Then we do moisturizer. This is the Kiehl's uh, facial moisturizer. This is a great everyday, the tag, the label is gone because we got the refill, but this is a great everyday daytime moisturizer. Um, it does not leave the skin greasy looking, but it gives you just enough, like just enough moisture to not be dry. It gives the skin a nice glow. Y'all heard my stomach growling? That's embarrassing. It gives the skin a nice glow and <clears throat> I absolutely love it. Oh my gosh, it's so good. The last step, which is a necessity, especially if you're using AHAs, BHAs, 
any kind of um, acid on your skin or active acid on your skin, you want to use sunscreen because it can the sun can cause your skin to revert and produce melanocytes, which in turn um, pr which in turn increase um, dark spots on the skin. So I am actively working on this dark spot over here. So I am sure to use my sunscreen, and this one is a sun milk. I've showed you guys this before in my Sephora favorites. Josie Marin sent this over to me, and it's a broad, broad spectrum SPF 33. I wish it was a little higher, but it's a sheer argan powered sunscreen. So you get the hydration from the argan oil, and then you also get sun protection. I keep my skin very very hydrated and as you can see there's no white cast with this i love it like this is so good this is top this is next level this is next level um sunscreen absolutely love it and you guys that is pretty much my morning skincare routine i keep it very simple because in the night what is that in the night is where it gets done, okay? In the nighttime is when the skincare is top tier, okay? I don't play, I don't play about that. But I'm also gonna apply some Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. This one is in vanilla. Yeah, and now we're gonna fix something to eat, so I'll talk to you guys a little later. Email marketing is like, a beast and it's definitely a beast if you don't have a team dedicated to specifically email marketing so with my small business I am the email marketing team yes I am and I create all of the emails for the vault label I create them in Canva and I insert them into Clavio and they are sent they are made by me so when you see them please appreciate them um if you're subscribed to the vault label if not that's cool too but i just wanted to let you guys know what i'm doing so i am having a sale and i'm basically designing an email so i'll turn you guys around so you can see my canva so I found this really cool um, email template. And what I usually do, it had like little gift boxes around there. I deleted those and kind of like duplicated the circles and put them there. Um, the email subject is cleaning out the vault. So this kind of gives like a vault feel. It's dark, um, it's not cluttered and i'm going to take this picture of this cell phone delete it and i'm going to insert a picture of my um jewelry and delete the background you have to have the full version of canva to delete the background but yeah look at that oh it's gonna be good and i'm gonna tilt it just like the phone was just like the phone was, I'm going to position the bracelet in that way. To be honest, I really love, I really love working in Canva. I really, really like working in Canva. It helps me get all my creative juices flowing. It's definitely well worth the yearly subscription price that, um, that I pay. And I make sure that I have that on auto draft because guess what? We need to keep Canva. Um, in my like to know it, everything, everything is in it. All the graphics that I have on this email were made with Canva. So I'm just gonna work on my email marketing. I'm gonna try and create three emails um, for three email campaigns this week. Um, I'm a little behind because today's Tuesday. So this one will go out Wednesday. No, I'm gonna send this one out immediately. As soon as I can get my coupon codes and everything added up on the Shopify end. 
Um, I'm gonna send this out and then I'm gonna make two more emails to have two more emails go out to my subscribers and then I'll be done for the week as far as emails are concerned. Lots of things happening over here with the vault label. It is, this is like a lab true labor of love. So if you've ever supported my small business, I really appreciate you. I really, really do. Um, yeah, when I get a when I get a sale, I'll be doing happy dances all over the place. Thank you guys for supporting. If you have purchased from my small business, I really, really appreciate you. And if you haven't, the link is down below so that you can shop, of course. So I'll talk to you guys later. Today is Wednesday and I have some errands to run but I wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing after all this is a style and fashion channel um, so my top and vest are old Zara purchases this I got last year around this time and then this one I got a few months ago maybe the beginning of fall um, these cargos you guys have seen these are my amazon the drop and karen britchick um these faux doc martens are from tj maxx i got them like probably at this point two years ago and my bag is belk also old whole outfit old i probably can't link anything but i'll try my best and yeah so we're going my son forgot his lunch let me turn this around my son forgot his lunch box at home so i have to go drop that off at a school um it's in the opposite direction of my errands so i'm gonna stop at the thrift store and see what i can find there if there's anything there hasn't been anything lately besides that one piece that i left and i slept on and it was gone when i when i got back but we're not gonna stay there <laughs> we're gonna go to the thrift store really quick and then i don't know I'll see if anything interesting is popping off um, today. So let's go, girl. Okay, so I found nothing. A lot of cute, I mean, I saw a cute. I saw a few cute items, but nothing pressing for me to purchase. To be quite honest with you, to be 100, because we keep it 100 over here. Um, I've been I've been buying retail, and I've I've been buying retail, but not like splurging on retail. Even though I've been cu wait, hey, let me get over. Even though I've been curating um, a wardrobe that I love, and that's that is pretty much my motto for my social media, curating a style that you absolutely love, no matter what the trend, no matter what people say, no matter the occasion, no matter anything, just curate a style that you like and that you love and that you know you're in control of. So I am myself gaining more control over um my wardrobe and my style and i'm being a lot pickier or more picky i'm being more picky when i go to the thrift store you want to buy solely because this is a part of the style that i have curated for myself this would fit perfectly into the look that i'm going for um i can use this this is essential i want to make more meaningful purchases in 2023 not that I wasn't making meaningful purchases before, but I want to increase my meaningfulness with when it comes to my wardrobe. So I think that's why I'm just not finding anything at the thrift store because I'm not just going to buy it just to buy it. But you guys saw what I saw. You guys saw what I saw. And um, it's not, it's not, I'm not really missing out on anything. So no FOMO here.
Hey y'all, happy, what's today? Friday. We made it to the end of the week. My vlog, a little choppy, but we made it to the end of the week. And I'm gonna close out the vlog here, but I wanna show you guys what has been coming in the mail. I have a little Zara haul. I have some skincare, I have a fragrance. I got some shoes. Y'all know my birthday is coming. My birthday is Thursday, January 12th. So I've been kind of like spoiling myself here and there leading up the days leading up to my birthday. And that's just what I do. I just buy myself everything that I want. I don't tell myself no from January 1st to January 12th and even beyond um, to the end of the month. I don't tell myself no. I, I will link everything down below. Um, let's start with some, let's start with the fragrance I got. Now, I ordered this fragrance from Zara like three weeks ago. It is Universal Oud. Um, it is a part of their Joe Loves collection. She was the perfumer for Joe Malone. Not a safe blind buy at all. Um, the notes are black pepper, patchouli, very earthy patchouli. I get a lot of patchouli. And it has that like woody, clean smell to it um it is peppery from the black pepper but it's just not as peppery as my um like my boys imperial so it's more animalistic i hate using that word to describe ooh, but it's more animalistic not a safe blind buy so if you are near zara i'm not i had to order it um if you are near zara go in and put your nose on this before you order it because you may not like it it's very different very very different the packaging is stunning though look at oh, so so nice with that gold top it's minimal it's like a ambery color it's very pretty yeah i went to ulta and sephora i've been wanting to try this cost rx um at snail 96 mucin power essence i'm running out of my essences i'm like at the end of every essence that i have um so i wanted to try this this is really cool it is fragrance free it is a korean skincare brand y'all know i love me some k beauty it reminds me of hyaluronic acid it is claiming to be 96 percent snail secretion filtrate that sounds disgusting snail mucin that sliminess that you see on the snails i think that's what's in this bottle <laughs> This essence helps the skin to lose less moisture while keeping the skin smooth and healthy. Similar to hyaluronic acid, it helps the skin retain moisture. It kind of like is a humectant and it draws. I don't know if this is a humectant, but it does help the skin retain its moisture. Um, I put it on today and it feels like a, a slightly thicker um, hyaluronic acid. I really like it. I really like it so far. Um, I'll keep you guys posted on this and of course i'll link it below um i went to sephora to refill my moisturizer my keels daily facial moisturizer that i use i love that stuff but i wanted to try something different and honestly i've tried this uh first aid beauty Ult ultra repair cream intense hydration before like um years ago and i remember my skin just feeling very soft very hydrated and it was a thicker consistency moisturizer but perfect for daytime still so that is what i opted to get this was like 37 dollars very um nicely priced in my opinion for the size you get six ounces um they also have smaller sizes but i like this because it caters to um eczema and um sensitive skin if you have not watched my eczema journey skincare video i will link it up here somewhere and this right here is really good for dry skin um yes got that i got some shoes um from net a -Portay, um some loewe shoes this is my first pair of loewe shoes my second loewe purchase um i have a puzzle bag and i absolutely love it um, so it came with two dust bags. We love that. Yes, give us two. We got two feet, two shoes. Um, oh my gosh. So it's an espadrille like tech, trek sandal. Uh, or espadrille Arizona sandal. Baby. These are so cute. They are on sale, 50% off. I'll link it down below. The girls have been ordering it. I can see, um, like, through my like to know it. You guys really love the price point and the shoe. 
So I'll link it on um, down below so you can take advantage of the sale if they still have your sizes. Let's get started on this Zara haul, okay? It's not a huge haul. Y'all know my Zara hauls don't be huge, but they are substantial. And every now and again, I have to send something back. Um, I got this dress, this sweater dress, and I'll insert a, a picture of it here if I can find it. But it's like a sheer, a sheer top sweater dress. Um, I got it in a size medium, but I would prefer a large because I kind of want it to be able to belt it and it still be kind of like, um, slouchy a little bit. Um, but I fit the large nicely. I can still belt it. The only thing about this is so itchy. Oh, it is so itchy. I don't know if I'm going to keep this. I already, um, submitted a return request, so... I don't know, I gotta think about it for a few minutes and I'll decide if I'm gonna keep it, but it's packaged to go back. Second item that I bought, or the second items, are these sheer turtlenecks. I got it in red. I don't own a red turtleneck. Um, I got these in a medium. They fit very nicely. And like I said, they are sheer. This is not like a cherry red. This is more of a muted tone red it's still gorgeous i absolutely love it and i also got it in black these are part of the sale i believe they're like 12.99 very inexpensive originally 22.90 so they're like 50 percent off almost yeah so um we got that lastly i have some boots these are so cute <gasps> Look at these pointy toe boots, these pointy toe uh, suede leather boots, baby. I'm wearing these on my birthday. Um, the heel height, perfect. Like I can walk around in these for quite some time. I can go out and stand. These are a standing shoe. I, I think I could do it. Um, and they were, it says 149, but I feel like they were 119, but anyways. These are the boots that I got from Zara. Y'all, I can't wait to get my shoe and bag wall together. <sighs> I cannot wait. That's coming. It's coming soon. Yeah, it's coming soon. And I cannot wait to be able to like look at all of my shoes because I got some nice shoes. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to wrap up the vlog here. Thank you guys for hanging with me for the week. Um, I appreciate you. My life, you know, my life is pretty regular and I love that you're able to do my week with me pretty much. And I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments if you love these vlogs. I try to keep them under 30 minutes, maybe even under 20 minutes or right at 20 minutes if I can. This one might run a little longer. I was kind of um, doing a lot this week, but Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.